Hello. I wanted to come on and do this live and I wanted to talk to the younger generation and I want to apologize to you. We failed you. We failed you. A lot of things that you are experiencing is because we didn't prepare you. We didn't prepare you. We didn't push you. We didn't we tried to encourage you, but because you gave a little pushback, we backed up. And, and for that, I want to apologize. A lot of you were violated. Uh, things happened to you. And you tried to tell mom. You tried to tell grandma. You tried to tell auntie. You tried to tell uncle. And we didn't believe you or we didn't hear you. And so you, you tried again and you tried in your own way but we didn't, we didn't hear you or we didn't know how to deal with it. We didn't know how to accept it. We didn't know how to take it. So we failed you. And I want to apologize to you. It's not your fault what happened to you. It's not your, maybe we were working trying to make end meets, trying to take care of you and we left you with somebody that prayed on you but didn't pray for you. We left you with somebody that victimized you and made you their victim. They did things and, 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 and you were put in situations that you weren't ready to deal with and that you should not have been in. You should not have been around certain things. And for that, I apologize, we fail you. And I wanna say, let's circle back. Let's, let's, let's bust a block and, and circle back to this conversation. Some of you parents, you need to go to your children and tell them, I, I heard you, but it was such a shock. It was traumatic to me to hear that, and I didn't know how to process that. You need to go back and circle, circle back on that conversation with your children. Because we don't want you growing up and going the rest of your life saying no one heard me, no one listened to me. We failed you as ministers in the church when we acted one way in church but we did another thing at home. Some of us were drinking, some of us were smoking. You saw some of us living and shacking and being with different men and you saw uh, daddies and uncles and, and, and you saw them with different women and, and that's not what we were preaching. We failed you. I apologize. You, tr you went to church and you, you tried to share that you were struggling with things and you need help, but no one listened to you. You had dreams and ambitions in you. You had you had anointings and gifting and talents in you and they did not let you go forth. They held you back. They were mean to you in the buildings, the gathering place that they call church. And for that, as a anointed, licensed woman of God, I want to apologize to you. We failed you even in the churches. And a lot of you, you left the church, but you didn't leave God. But I want you to know that we need you. We need your talent and we need your gift. And let's circle back. Pastors, some of you have hurt people. You ran people off. People that were trying to hurt, help, help the ministry and help you. But because you were not in your right place or you didn't have good understanding, you ran them off. You said mean things to them. You were not welcoming. You were not loving. You didn't throw your arms around them. You did not acknowledge them I want you to know that we see you I want to apologize to you because see when when that little girl when she was walking out the house dressed inappropriately and we tried to say something but you gave some pushback so we got quiet because we didn't want to offend you or we didn't want to upset you we failed you because what happened, you went out there in that world and you was not prepared for what your dress, your apparel, 
you were not prepared for what came along with that. So you sometimes were violated and misused. And you kept quiet. Because when you tried to say, Mama, your boyfriend, when you tried to say, Mama, uncle, when you tried to say, Mama, the babysitter's son, Mama, the babysitter's husband, Mama, the... we failed you. And I want to say that I, we apologize to you. And some of your parents, they don't know how to deal, take things. They don't, you know, the least little thing will set them off because they are unprepared to deal with trauma or to deal with the storms of life. They are unprepared, even though they're parents. Have you ever came home and you were trying to tell your, your mom or your dad something? They said, boy, go sit down. Boy, go somewhere. They've had a long day. They tired. They had a rough day at the, at, at the workplace. And they didn't know how to unpack when they came home, unpack that workplace. They brought it home with them. So they didn't want to hear nothing from you or nobody. And I know because I, I myself have been guilty of it. But I want to tell you that we see you. We see the hurt in your eye. We failed you. I want to apologize to you because we did not put work ethics in you. We did not encourage you to stay in school when you dropped out. Okay, you, you got pregnant and you dropped out of school and we tried to show you tough love so we told you you're not going to have no baby in here so now you went out there and you, you, you had to get it up out the mud. And so now mama is trying to circle back to say, hey, I was wrong. I made a mistake. I should have held you closer. I should have been there for you, but I was not because I had children of my own. I was trying to raise your sister and brother. Now you done went out and you done got pregnant. And out of anger and out of what we thought was right, we, 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 we told you to go. And some of you sons, we didn't tell you your 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 chore is to take the garbage out. Your chore is to rake the yard. Your chore is to mow the yard. So as you got older and older, you didn't want to do it. And you refused to do it. And we didn't push you to do it. We didn't tell you you had to do it. So now you're 20 and you're 30 and you don't want to work because you were never forced to work. Not, I wouldn't say forced. You were never encouraged to work. You were never giving directions to work. See, let, let's be clear. When you are 15 or 14 or 8, you are a child. You do not have an adult's mind. That's why we are over you. We are your guardians, but we fail you because of certain things we didn't instill from you. So that's why you see a lot of young men hanging out on the corner. Then when they get a certain age and, and you want to curse at us or tell us what you don't want to do, and, and finally we get tired and we put you out, so now you're homeless. We failed you. We failed you. We didn't teach you to get a job and save your money and buy you a car. Teach you the values of earning things and getting things. We failed you. And for that, I am saying to you that we are, I'm sorry. I apologize to you. And I pray that if a parent hears this, that you circle back. Even though your child is an adult and have children of their own, circle back on those conversations. And, and I know because sometimes things come back and they say, mm, I need to circle back on that. And, and I even tell my, I'm a mother. I, I stop and I, I let them, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I see you. You want to talk? Is everything okay? Have I ever done anything to hurt you? Have I ever done anything to crush your dreams or your passion? Did I shatter your dreams or your passion? Did I make you feel like you were worthless? Because sometimes we did these things we didn't intend to, and we didn't know the impact and the power we had as parents. So for this, I apologize to you. We failed you. And this is why some of the things are going on. We fail you. See, our mothers and fathers, when they talk, we listen to them. We didn't talk back to them. We listen. But we tried to be better than our parents. And sometimes trying to be better 
made things worse. We failed you. And we're asking for forgiveness. Forgive us. I need you to find somebody you can talk to about those things that hurt you, that crush you. If it's not a mama, find somebody. Church leaders, we need you to step up. Ministers, we need you to step up. We need you to do better. We need you to throw your arms around the, these youth when they come in there. When they come in there smelling like substance weed or, 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 or spirits, they've been drinking, throw your arms around them. Love on them. Stop acting like you're better than them. Throw your arms around them. Love them. We failing. We are failing our younger people. We are failing even in the church. Let's get it right. Forgive us. We failed you.